Hey everybody, it's Elizabeth and thanks for stopping by and coming to check out our shenanigans. So today I wanted to bring you guys on in on the end, kind of the end-ish of a decorating or makeover project. So I started giving our kitchen a makeover a couple of months ago and I didn't realize how long it would take to paint our kitchen cabinets from a dark painted brown to a painted white. I think it ended up being four coats each. So basically I just kind of jumped, jumped in one afternoon and I did the lowers and I did two coats on the lowers. Removed all the hardware because I did all new hardware on the lowers only. I just did fancier, cuter stuff that actually fairly matches what's on the uppers. So I left the uppers as they were. Um, the biggest thing was I wanted different hardware. I wanted different pools for the drawers because I love this, uh, You'll see it in the pictures, but it's kind of like craftsman style home uh, drawer pulls that you stick your fingers under. Anyways, I love them. I've always wanted some, so I got some of those. Um, so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to show you a bunch of before pictures, and then I'm going to bring you along today as I finish the upper cabinets. And then we'll get a look at, you know, the finished product. So with the... Um, so like I said, I did all of the lowers. It took me a couple different days and the lowers have been done for months. And then maybe like six weeks ago, maybe eight, um, I painted the uppers. And I, in a day, I got three coats on them, cut in and everything. Um, I did a, a mix of rolling and cutting in because when you when you do the brush on the cabinets, you get a thicker layer on. Um, but rolling gives you that smooth, consistent look that you're going for. Um, so I knew that day when I finished that it was going to need another coat, but I was running out of time. So I just got the three coats done and it's literally, my kitchen has been like that. Blue tape around the kitchen window, around the stove, around the sink literally for almost two months. It's ridiculous, I know. So today, we're going to jump in and we're going to finish that last coat on the uppers. And then I might do something with the chimney because we have an old chimney in our kitchen, which when this house was originally built, there was a, a wood stove on the other side of that wall, which sat in the living room. So that was an active chimney until like, I think maybe like 2005 because at some point the wood stove was removed, um, central heat and air was put in, and then the chimney was left there. But then I think it was maybe in 2010 where my husband's uncle actually knocked it down out of the roof and the attic and closed off the roof. So literally we just have a, a column from the ceiling in the kitchen to down into the crawl space, but it doesn't go up anywhere it's all closed off so it's really just for looks um, I wish it would have been left the original brick and I would have loved that and incorporated that into the plan but unfortunately it was painted dark brown years ago and it's just hideous so we're gonna lighten that up a bit and give that a little refresh and I've got a fun little idea for that and I'm surprised that my husband is being super flexible with it so that's the plan. Let's jump into it. Let's check out those before pictures first, and then I'll bring you along for the painting.
One thing I want to mention really quick while I've got you here is that there is a reason I painted this white. So you wouldn't really be able to see it now, which is the point. But back here on the wall was a stain that I have not been able to get off for years. It's, it was an old stain, probably been there, you know, 10 years or something. Um, wasn't bothering people before because the trash can blocked it. But when I pull out the trash cans and I clean behind them and everything and I'm deep cleaning, the fact that I couldn't get it off the wall super irritated me. So what we're going to do eventually is this wall will be painted a different color, kind of like a little accent nook. I don't know what color since I did this mint. Um, and then my husband is going to build floor to ceiling shelves in here that will just be kind of like raw wood. I'll probably seal them. But they're not going to be painted or anything. They'll just be wood. That'll bring in more wood tones for this space. Which is very necessary. Because now that the cabinets are done. There's a whole lot of white in here you guys. And we've got to balance it out. Which I'm glad we've got the wood floor. But still. So what that will be is. Um, the shelves will start about here. So we can still keep our trash cans there. We might even do like a little hideaway thing. So the trash cans are concealed. But then from there up, we're going to do a shelf about every foot. And the primary objective for that is to have more food storage in here. We want to move our pint mason jars and quarts in here, the ones we use most often. And then it'll be kind of like a, you know, like a homestead kitchen display of our canned food. Uh, that way we don't have to go all the way to the back pantry to get them. And then the top few shelves will be small appliances that I don't really have room for in the back pantry right now. Which is like crock pot, instant pot, different things like that. Um, keep them there where they're kind of closer. And then also somewhere either along the top or in the middle. We're going to do one shelf that is a display shelf for me for my coffee cup collection. Because I collect coffee cups anytime I travel anywhere. And our cabinets are overfloweth. So we want to put that somewhere so that, you know, it looks pretty. And they can be used, yes. But primarily so that we just have more room for them. So, said all that to say that while I was painting everything, I really wanted to cover up that stain. So I only did it halfway up. Because to actually paint this whole wall, I've got to take this shelf off. And so that's why I did that. Um, in the process, I went ahead and painted the baseboard back there because I painted this baseboard right here white when I did the lowers. Um, I did caulking in here, which was much needed. And this corner over here actually needed to be caulked as well. And then if you recall from way before, um, I actually painted this all this trim here back when I did my office because I just came all the way in here and did all the trim white. So the now the baseboard and, and all this trim down here has been painted. And what we'll do is we'll just do this wall a different color uh, before we install those shelves. So just wanted to explain that. Otherwise, here's all this. I'm really loving it. Um, some of our cabinets don't close all the way because this is old house. See, like they just pop back out. Oh, just pop back out. <laughs> um, and then, let's see, we did the... The coffee cup display up there again that was my husband's first idea with trying to make room for my collection and then the uh the metal backsplash my husband and i did that i think last winter need to clean that up some it actually does pretty good with looking nice and one of our next projects is going to be our countertop this is the original countertop from the 50s um we've got this gap here that comes up if you put anything hot there and then like stains like this just can't seem to get rid of them we actually do come through and bleach the countertop every few months and that helps but it's just kind of ridiculous so we're going to try the the paint the paint countertop paint that is like a seven step process and it looks like white granite when you're done and we may have to talk about that because i'm honestly wondering if this is just too much white I'm not sure yet Another project you'll see in the future is with our dining room table. I keep covers on here because they're fun and cute, but also because this really needs to be refinished. So what I would love to do is actually sand this down and restain this top and seal it with a really good poly. But then we want to paint the legs a color. We both really like that idea. Um, not like a white, but like an actual color color. Just kind of as an accent. And then we're going to get a bench chair for here and move this chair over there. 
Um, so that's kind of the plan there. And then also another project we'll be doing is we'll be painting this wall. It's not been painted yet. I did the trim on the bottom when I came through and was doing the trim in the office. Um, and I did do the trim on the doorway. But I'm thinking I want to do this wall in the mint color now that I have this over here. I love that so much. I've got to do a little touch up around the microwave right there. Um, and then we'll eventually be redoing this entire wall. This is a big hutch my husband has had for a long time. But we don't have enough storage for like holiday or seasonal things. So what we're going to do is we're going to find a dresser that we can make over and make into like a buffet. So then it would come up taller and give us more storage. And then we'll take out all these photos and we'll either hang them on the wall or hang them on the wall somewhere else. These are all special family photos, grandparents, great grandparents, stuff like that. Um, but what we want to do is we want to put some shelves along this top wall and like an open shelving system to put uh, those pictures on and many different things. And so then that will kind of open up this space that feels kind of bogged down currently because of this big thing. So when we do that, we'll paint this wall. And I'm not sure yet what color that will be. I'm leaning towards this gray color that's in my office over there because we all love that so much. But I just don't know. But anyway, so that's what it looks like for now. So of course there will be more projects in the future. And every time I take pictures in here, I really think I should take stuff off there. I purge the stuff on the fridge every time I do photos. But we also collect magnets when we travel. So that's what a lot of those are, plus drawings from our six-year-old. So don't want to take those down. Anyways, and I will be working on this spot here. This fake drawer had some wood issues. I put some, some putty in there before I painted this the first time. And it still just did not make it look as good as I was hoping that it would. So I bought some little fake tiles. I'll show you that really quick while I've got you here because they're right here in the cabinet. So this is my idea so far. I got some little tiles like this to put on there. And so my hope is that I can just do this whole little drawer here and it will just look kind of like an intentional design detail and not like I'm trying to cover something up. These are just little stickers. So there you go. And I already laid them out in a pattern so I've got numbers on the back so I remember what pattern I want them in because some have yellows and some don't. Um, some have some oranges in them. You can get, I got these on Amazon and they had several, this one particular product had lots of different uh, color options, so that was handy. One thing I'd like to find a place for, too, when we are nearing the end of the remodel process is a coffee bar. Because I love coffee. Because we've got, we've got a Keurig and a little espresso machine. And I recently bought some more syrups because I'm going to try and make me some like sugar-free coffees to go along with my dirty keto diet. Um, and so I've got all the supplies, so I would love to have somewhere just nice to put that where it's cute and all my syrups and everything are together. Um, and I do have this little stand here, which I love. This is like one of my little antique finds. Love it, love it. But so far it's just been, this has just got some pictures hanging here. And the, it's really handy to keep the compost bucket here. It's what we feed the pig every day. And I refill my Scentsy every day. And then we've got drinks and different egg cartons and stuff. So there's not really room for the coffee bar here. But maybe depending on what we do with the buffet, some of the stuff could move over to the buffet and I could have my little coffee bar here. Because really this is a great size for a coffee bar. So anyways, that's what I'm thinking. Thanks for stopping by and checking out the video. I hope that you guys liked it. I love that mint. Tell me what you think about that mint. Should I do this while I'm facing? complete opposite side in mint and then also let me know if you have any ideas for colors for this big wall here because I definitely not keeping the beige and definitely not white because there's already enough white in this space <laughs> it's like starkness white um yeah so this picture ironically is pretty much the vibe I'm going for you can see it's got the yellows that's like the mint kind of like an aqua color in there 
Um, just picked this up at Dollar, Dollar General like a couple of days ago. Uh, but I love these colors. Very much spring. But the thing I want to keep in mind, because no, I don't have a final theme in mind. What I want to keep in mind is I need my kitchen to be adaptable because I decorate for the seasons. So usually my centerpiece on my table um, and then along the countertops, I have different um, decor items for every season and every holiday and I love doing that. I do that in my kitchen and my living room and so I need my kitchen to be somewhat of a theme that is flexible like when I put out red, white, and blue decorations, when I put out Christmas decorations, something like that where it's kind of flexible. So give me your opinions on that down in the description. I hope you enjoyed watching and I hope you guys have a fantastic day. I love you guys.